just finished testing the StarCraft Bay Series 180. This is their new fishing boat. It's powered by a Yamaha F-115. It's a great little boat for fishing in rivers, bays, lakes, you know, small bodies of water or even right off the beach if it's nice. I'd say with a 115, this is a light boat, so we got on plane in really quick time, 2.4 seconds to 25 miles an hour in 5.6 seconds with a top speed of 43.6 miles an hour, which for an 18 footer like this is scooting right along. Let's head back to the dock and check out some features. Okay, so what's missing from this picture? Where's the fishing rod in my hand? This is uh, StarCraft's new Bay Series 180. And I'll tell you what, they've done a really uh, 180 on boat design here. It's kind of neat. Um, narrow beam, which is going to give you great fuel economy. And it has a raised bow, so it's going to be able to uh, take the waves a little bit better, give you a little more freeboard up front if a cruiser goes by or you get caught in some waves. Nice casting platform up here in the bow that's covered by the standard cushions up here. In case you're not catching any fish, you can just chill out catch some rays. Now this Minn Kota co-pilot uh, trolling motor, that's an aftermarket option. And with a boat like this, you're going to want to pick up some items that maybe StarCraft is not going to offer. You know, as fishermen, we're going to find the latest and greatest gadget to work with. Let's head back a little bit and check out what we have. You know, a lot of boats like this that are inexpensive, you see the uh, helm seat is actually a modified cooler with this flip-flop. Uh, backrest that you can flip forward if you want to fish off the back. This one is actually like a more like a uh, leaning post. It's a very uh, comfortable uh, unit and it has a second cooler under here which kind of violates all the rules of small boat fishing. You know the rule that says you got to keep your fish in the same container as your beverages so you got a nice fishy taste in coke. It just goes with the territory. At the helm here we have a optional hummingbird. Um, Actually, I would have liked to have seen a, a smaller bracket on here because it kind of intrudes in your forward vision. But you want a fish, nice fish finder for this unit, and you can mount it on a small bracket and still get the same effect. Uh, the console here, it's uh, perfect for standing and driving, which you're going to be doing on this boat a lot, so you can get a good eye of what's down there. Got a Ritchie compass, uh, nice ga big gauges for reading. You're all set to go. Okay, for live bait fans, got a nice roomy live well back here in the stern. Rod holders in the stern and on the gunnels. Pack it a Yamaha 115, lots of punch out of the hole, get you out of the shallow water quickly. Now here's another aftermarket uh, option you can get. This is a Minn Kota Talon. It's a, uh, it actually holds you in place instead of having to schlep out an anchor every time you want to stop and see if the fish are biting. For more information on the StarCraft Bay Series 180 and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones and we'll see you out on the water, hopefully with a fishing rod in my hand. <laughs>